I feel like a star, but only strictly where I'm famous. I'm in this for the longest haul, like we'll see where it takes us. I'm throwing back these double shots like whiskey here is weightless. Cause, cause this career I chose was even riskier than Vegas, yo. It is Thursday night already. Can you even believe a week has gone by so quickly? Can't believe it. It's amazing. And uh, going to be a really, really fun show tonight because we've got our special Vino and Voices. So I'm going to be really excited about that. Um, I just want to say, though, a couple quick little things. I, I leave tomorrow for Florida. So I got two events in Florida. Anybody, Florida, if you're near Florida, could fly to Florida. I want you to come to the events, okay? This is, uh, I got one Saturday night in Orlando. It's my old stomping ground at the venue. I've been there before, and they are amazing at the venue. And we have a nice, nice turnout, and it's a theater, and it's just really nice and, and fun and really looking forward to serving spirit there. And then Sunday night, I'm actually going to be with two friends of mine, um, and then uh, we'll talk about that. But I've got uh, Mark David, who is a sound healer, and Lindsay Marino. She is a psychic medium as well. I'm sure a lot of you know who she is. So the three of us are going to do a uh, triple tag team and do an event for sound healing and messages. So this is going to be just a remarkable evening. That's in St. Petersburg. So it's like across the coast and thank goodness I have a best friend in the whole world who happens to live in Florida and will drive me so <laughs> and uh, I'm actually super excited I think she's going to get a second place in North Carolina so then maybe I'll make her drive me around North Carolina too <laughs> um, last uh, two things because I do want to just dive in tonight and not waste any time on March 4th, if you're in L.A., we're going to do the intro to Intuition. It's fun. It's for everybody. If you just wanted to explore your own gifts, wonder if you have gifts, just want to think if you're crazy, just come and hang out. It's going to be really, really fun. And then uh, the last thing is today's the last day for the early bird special on the mentoring. Uh, I, I keep it open to six people. I think there's like one spot left. And today is the last day for the mentoring. So it's private. It's personalized. Just you and me, four weeks long. Uh, go there and take a look, see if it's for you. But I'd love to have you because I love to help and teach and work with people and work with spirit and work with where they're, they're naturally able to go. All right. So there's all of that. That is enough of enough of enough. Um, I, I want to get into our night tonight because it's really one of my favorite, favorite uh, times of the month. And uh, I am just so excited for a Vino and Voices with my good friend. You guys know her. You guys love her. Shout out for Jennifer Schaefer. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, bud. Hey, <laughs> how you doing? I'm doing really well. Jet Thank setter you, Bora Bora. Oh, yeah, it was it was so nice. But I want to add to the event that you're doing in Petersburg with Mark. If you have not heard his sound healing, it <laughs> is a must. Yeah. He is he he does something so significant to your energy field and the combination with the two of with all three of you is a definite must get yourself there i promise you you will not regret it uh we were lucky enough to have him here in la yes he's by and he's by far one of the best sound healers i've ever heard in my life i'm bringing him back yes i'm, I'm bringing him, i'm bringing him back you just you, you know better. for my own selfish reasons <laughs> uh he's just he is incredible oh, isn't he he is yes he is. yeah so it, it's gonna be a really fun uh exciting event i'm really looking forward to it yeah i'm kind of so, jealous yeah <laughs> it's, it is gonna be a good 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 time but yeah. you know um you're doing wine and spirits and yes. that's really fun right it's super fun so once a month i do this uh little gathering at uncorked in hermosa beach and it's a wine shop and yeah. i'm telling you, it's medium mondays with me and so it's once a month and the next one is march 19th and you, you can reserve your spot by just calling them 
Um, it really, there's been a lot of healing and it's, everybody gets to have a glass of wine and sit down. And last time there wasn't a dry eye. Everybody, it was just so, it was truly, you know, we, we don't, um, how would I explain this? We're always amazed by what comes through from spirit. Yeah. I can never get tired of that. Um, but I still get shocked every single time. Yeah. It's right. It's amazing. Right. Um, yeah, to yeah. the point, and it's. I think the veil has been so thin that it's almost to the point where it's not believable because it comes through so clear. Yeah, yeah. That you're like, oh, could it be that clear? Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> it is it, just even sometimes it's the little stuff too. Sometimes it's uh, yeah. It's it's well, pretty pretty fun and pretty neat. Jerry asked me to uh, come down. Jerry's like, you need to come down. I was like, I know I've been meaning to kind of come down and, and see her and, and see her do her thing. But, you um, know, listen, it's a very small little venue, but it's it's created quite a stir. It's your is venue. It is. Isn't it nice? It is nice. You're out there. You're yes. doing it. Yes. It feels good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Just that healing and the helping of other people. Yeah. I yeah. think is good. It's, it's challenging to get into my schedule, and so this makes it a, a way that people can go. You have to do it. Yeah. There you go. Like awesome. It. Awesome. You. Well, I know the uh, our, our listeners, they've been missing you, so Aww. we're really excited. Um, hey, the last one was very special. <laughs> you know, and um, it, it uh, touched a lot of hearts with what you said. Oh, thank you. It really did. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, we got a long line. So uh, just a couple things, wow. if you guys don't mind. Um, I'm going to call the numbers at random. Here's just a couple things uh, I'd like. If you've gotten through the call line in the last show or two, I am just going to ask you to please disconnect. It, you know, we, we really, because I choose them at random, and I don't know, I, I really, I think it's fair as much as you, you know, I know you want a message every week. I, I do too. But let's just, if you've gotten through that call line in the last couple of weeks, if you'll do me a favor, just disconnect. I do appreciate you hanging on and listening and, and right. wanting. But we, we really do want to open up that pool for as many new callers to get through as well. Okay, and one quick shout out to my very dear friend, Joyce Jackson. It is her birthday tomorrow, and she is a very special person, an incredible medium, um, which she shivers at it even saying that, but just an amazing person. So happy birthday, Joyce. There you go. Okay. Happy, there birthday, go. Joyce. Right. happy birthday, Joyce. Happy birthday. Um, the other thing, too, make sure you turn off your, your sound devices, your TV, phone. Um, if you've got a barking dog, you know, hide them in another room. If you've got a barking child, hide them as well. <laughs> <laughs> or, or a barking squirrel in your case. Oh my goodness, Stan <laughs> is a maniac. This dude, he has. Stan has his own fan page. He, he is. He, I can't wait to post a picture he did today. But he is. The he best. is so frisky. He's hilarious. He, he is learning how to climb up on the sliding glass door. I'm like, boo, no, no. <laughs> Um, and yeah, but he is fun. He's kind of fun to have around and mm -hmm. he watches me. So he knows like, <laughs> you know, I don't always close the blinds. So when I walk in the front door, uh -huh. he sees and he comes and he runs out of the tree and he runs up <laughs> or if I get up in the morning, um, or if I even try to sleep in, he comes to the bedroom window and I starts to <laughs> knock. I'm like, dude, no, no. <laughs> We need boundaries. If we're going to have a healthy relationship, Stan, oh. we need some boundaries. Okay. <laughs> That's All right. Funny. All right. How about we do some callers? Sound Absolutely. good? Absolutely. All right. Awesome. How about let us just do number uh, 11 to, I can't see, 207? All right. Okay. 207, you are on the air with Colby and Jennifer. Who is this? Hey, Colby, it's Kathy Martin. Hey, Kathy, how you doing? Kathy, did you get through the last couple shows? Uh, probably about three ago, but I have a gentleman friend here mm. who is from Canada. Okay. And his father passed not long ago. Okay. And he's never been into this world before, and it's kind of weird that I got through like I did. Because I would like to see him this world. 
All right. Well, I we would need him on the phone. Let's put him on just for for all fairness. Sure. Sound good? And what what is his first name? Well, you he's gonna... yeah, he's right here. Okay. okay. His name's Roland. Hi, Thank Roland. You. Hold on, okay. Oh, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Roland. How are you? Boo. <laughs> good. 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 Are you excited? Yeah, the first time I'm doing this, yeah. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. awesome, awesome. All right, and so you're hoping to connect with Dad. Is that right, honey? Yeah. Okay, I I got a few things, Jen. Do you have it, or do you want me to Go start? Ahead. Okay, Go so Roland, you know... The reason I wanted you on the phone, I you would understand that dad, um, da well, it's so funny. You've never been into this world, but neither has dad, so that I know. And dad makes me feel like he's uh, um, a little, um, what's that word I'm looking for? No, I, rigid's not the right word, but dad would like th his rules. Is that right? Like, I feel like he had a set way of doing things, really set in his ways. There we go. Does that make sense around your dad, Roland? Yes. Okay. And you also understand, um, d dad is really, I don't know if he was in the service, but he just keeps making me feel meticulous, like detail, detail, detail. So was dad in the service as well, Roland? No, he never did. Okay. You understand that meticulous though, right? Knocking things off, ticking things off. Like he's very, uh, very mechanical. He just feels like he's very good at figuring things out good at uh, uh, fixing problems. Like, he's super smart, your dad, but he's also just so kind of right on his vision. That Right? You understand that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. He also, yeah. he also gives me this feeling of... Um, he, you know, your dad feels kind of like that man's man to me. The, the guy who, you know, is packing up the kids. Uh, we're going to go kind of... I don't know. Well, I wanted to use the word hunting, but I don't think that that's the right word. Maybe it's camping, but I do see some outdoors with him or these trips. Like he wanted to make sure you knew what it took to kind of survive on your own as well. He's kind of that survival. That's what I keep getting around your yeah. dad. So does that make sense to you, Roland? No, you never did that, though. I'm sorry, what? You didn't go camping or outdoors? Never... No. Okay, do you, under no. do you understand the survivalist mode, like making you kind of do your own thing or, you know, kind of learn how for you to kind of make it through the world. Like, that's just kind of the feeling I keep getting from him. Uh, no, he never did that. No, he never showed me that, no. Okay. Um, all right. Well, that's okay. I... I don't want to argue with you because, you know, but that's just the feeling I'm getting. So let's see what Jen has and then I can come back in. There's something around his chest, okay. it's his chest area, correct? With the way, like it's up by his throat. The what? The way, the way that he might have passed. Did he have something going on with his throat area or his heart area? His heart, yes. His heart, okay. Did he, um, did it, hold on. Was was he sick for a couple of years? Not sick, but he knew he had heart issues for a couple of years. He was sick in nineteen ninety five. He had a heart attack in nineteen ninety five. Okay, so been sick okay. for a while. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, and the thing that I'm getting with him is he didn't he didn't talk very much. Yeah, that's he? what I got too. Correct. You just knew what mm. was he. He was a hard. Well, obviously, a hard man challenging to figure out but he also didn't he didn't you i don't know if it, he didn't have to talk you kind of knew where he was right mentally like if he was angry you'd feel yeah. it he would never have to yeah. say it that's what i feel too do you understand that roland because we're on the air so i need you to respond yeah. quickly yeah. honey yes kathy did you know him or no Okay, go ahead, guys. Here we go. I'm sorry, Kathy. Did you know him or no? No, uh, no, but I know a lot of them. I I just put this on speaker because I can help with a bit of language barrier. Oh, I got it. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we, we can't have the feedback though. Is is that better? Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're, 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 we're probably not going to be able to stay on this call too long, Kathy, just because there's too much feedback on air, and the, I think we're going to drive the other listeners crazy. Here's the feeling w I'm getting, too. I, I just feel like his dad didn't didn't really express how he felt a whole lot. He feels a little, like, kind of private, his dad, a little closed off. 
I feel like Roland really, uh, and I feel like Roland yeah. in a lot of ways had to kind of take care of himself, Roland, like raise himself in a lot of ways. That's what it feels like. And I feel like Roland in himself and his family is very loving and caring and warm, whereas his dad feels a little more strict, a little more... Uh, the way he was raised. Yeah, yeah, not super. Just he just Dead on. he's just not feeling warm, warm and fuzzy with us. You know. You, you knew you were loved, correct, Roland? You knew you were loved, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Did. Yes. Yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah. There's also the a Sunday dinner. So I don't know if they just sat down every week for dinner, but they they are That's showing. Different. Yeah, it's very. There's just a schedule with this guy. So ask him if they would sit down for like the weekly dinner or at least. Because it feels like his dad's at the head of the table and he wants people to know he's the head of the table. Well, I'm going to tell you what. His wife, every Sunday, they gather together. Okay. Okay. There we go. Thank you. You guys are dead on. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You know, I, I just want to say, listen, I know Roland hasn't done this too much. And, um, and I know it's just kind of like, freaky to him maybe like probably. kind of freaky he's probably like what the heck but i yeah. i feel like his dad the one thing his dad wants to tell him it, it, to me is i love you yes. like because it feels like his dad didn't say i love you a whole lot in the physical and mm -hmm. his dad says i love you i'm proud of you um that's i'm I proud mean. of the man that you are and that that's the feeling i'm getting around that's it as well said. yeah so he did it through his actions yes yeah, uh, and I know I we can't keep this going forever because I know you have a lot of callers to deal with. We but, have a uh, ton of just callers. An F <laughs> just an FYI. Yes. Seriously. Yes. His wife has cancer. Uh, well, we will send her love, okay? But um, I mean, yes. again, it, and, I think uh, this is about sending a lot of saying, love. I'm sorry, Kathy. What you're saying is dead on. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, there's something about angels being around her. Yeah, Roland, I will send you a lot of love, yeah. honey. Um, it, again, I, you know, if we didn't have such a time strict, we could go on and on and, and really tune into the wife more. But just based on the time and the based on the callers, I am glad you got through, Kathy, because I, I feel like Roland definitely needed to know that, that he's taken care of from the other side. Yes, and I do feel like she'll... I he's do. emotional. Mm. I Lots of family love for him. Thanks. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome, thank you honey. Thank you very much, guys, and uh, I owe you big. Oh, oh thank you, Kathy. Thank you. you, Kathy. All right, have a good night. Um, yeah, it's it's tough. Um, yeah. yeah, you can't take cancer lightly. So I'm going into it, and you know I have my own projections at times, and it's just it's, yeah. It's challenging to do it in two seconds. It, yeah, well, and it just, again, it just, them. we wouldn't be giving it to, right, the, the care that it, it right. truly deserves. So, all right, how about wow. uh, number 12, 734? Okay, 734, you got through with Colby and Jennifer. Who is this? Hi, this is Amber. Hi, Hi Amber. Amber. How you doing, honey? I'm good, and you? I'm good. I'm yeah. good. I just want to make sure. Did you get through the last couple shows, or you're a newbie? <laughs> I'm a newbie. I haven't been in a while. Yay! Yay. <laughs> All right. What do you, What question do you have for us tonight? I need some guidance from the other side. I, d I don't care who it is. I just I need some a voice. If they're picking up on anything, if I should be good or bad. All right, listen, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna share one thing with you, Amber. Your your loved ones aren't gonna tell you what to do. Like I think they're gonna have a message, but it's no different than them having a conversation with us in the physical. So either we can tune in and give you some guidance, or you can hear from a loved one. Um, right. But your loved one isn't gonna, you know, they're not gonna. To me, they don't. They're not here to do that. So what do you need? Which one would you like? Either one would be fine. Okay. Your guidance would be fine. Okay, okay good. Do uh, you want to go, Jenna, or you want me to go? Are you thinking about a move, or is there some type oh, of move? Oh, I think, yeah. There's a, uh, Amber? Yeah. Are yes, you, I am. Okay, you are. And All right. Feels like relationship, though. Are you, uh, Amber, is there something going on with relationship? Family. <laughs> family, okay. And did something come to a head last October? Yes. Okay. And then in December, you really, like, it was very frustrating for you. And that's when you kind of made the, the,
the you started with the awareness that you were going to do something about it, correct? Correct. Okay. And now you're just looking. I believe you're doing I you're following your path. You're doing what you should be doing. But it's still going to be challenging because it's going to feel it's going to you're going to have a sense of loss. True. Okay. Yeah. I want to, Amber, is this about, I feel like this is about breaking up a household too, though, or leaving a household. So does that make sense or no? Yes, it does. Okay. And then I also feel like, so this is your relationship specifically. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. And then there's another person stepping in. Or do we know that? Can I say that? Are we? I don't want to get you in trouble. <laughs> you won't get me in trouble, but there's a lot of factors. Okay. Okay. But that's one of them. Am I right? Come on, girl. Correct. On. That's right. Yeah. That's my girl. I know it. Well, <laughs> there's, listen, I got to tell you, I think there's a lot of moving parts in this, as Jen is talking about. Um, there's a lot of uh, other people's feelings at stake with this because I feel like even that other person has got some stuff too. Uh, mm -hmm. You they know? Have, they have to get, get oh, yeah. resolved as well. Yeah, but the only thing is, is I'm not so sure that the two of you are going to be able to stay away from another. Uh, so I can't tell you to like, hey, stay away because there's a huge, strong <laughs> magnetic pull between the two of you. Um, and... And I think it, it feels feel like it's alive again. Yeah. And it feels like it's been a long time coming. And I feel like you you've known this person. So you've either known them for a while in this physical life, like they've been a friend and now it's becoming closer. Um, but there's definitely some other connections as well with this person. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. OK. All right. So, yeah, I don't you know, it's you got to fo follow I think your follow heart. heart. That's what I yeah. wanted to say. Yeah. Right. Who's thought of it first? You thought of it first. No, you did. I don't know. Yeah. You said it first. <laughs> I went. P pinky, <laughs> pinky wrestle. <laughs> Anyhow, you, Amber, Amy. I hope that helps. Listen, um, I th I th the feelings you're getting are right on. I think what you've been thinking about and the decision you've been thinking about has been there for so, so long. long. And you've really worked hard on yourself. Yeah, and I, I really think that it's about you being honest with yourself. And then now it's just that kind of courage to follow it through, okay? Okay, thank you very much. You You're are welcome, so Thanks welcome. Thanks for calling in. Yes. Good luck. You. Oh, follow your heart. That's, that's a theme. tough one, isn't it? Yep. All right. How about nine, uh, 16952? All right, 952, this is Colby and Jennifer. Who's this? Hello. Hi. Hi, Marcy. Are, are you Marcy? Hi. Uh, hi, honey. Yep, that's right. Okay, all <laughs> right. Hi, honey, how are you? I'm great. How are you ladies tonight? Doing I am great. good. I am good. Uh, what question do you have for us? Um, well, I have had some big changes um, happen in my life lately and um, just went through a divorce oh. and just bought um, a new townhouse. So quite a few changes. Um, and I'm just kind of wondering where my life is supposed to go and um, and if I'm going to meet somebody and and hopefully get married again. No, nope, never. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I, no, I'm teasing. Oh, no. I'm, no, I'm, you know, I'm kidding, right? Because it's very, uh, you're absolutely, <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing in the psychic I know. sandbox. I've actually, I've said that so many times. I, nope, never. nope, 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 not you. You know, I'm going to tell you, Marcy, I would only say that if, uh, I would only say that if it wasn't just the exact opposite, that, you know, to me, you're oh, okay. at, yeah, I, I would only yeah. say that. Yeah. If it was borderline or not going to, I would dreamt share about it. marriage as a little girl. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, yes. I mean, I never thought I'd get divorced. Right. I, I love, I love being married, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would like to get married again. That's, that's kind of my goal, but I, I just want to find somebody that, you know, Values I really you. fall in love with. Yeah. And it's the right person. Right. So the focus isn't marriage, it's it's the relationship. Right? 
It, well, like, um, I'm seeing somebody now, but I just don't think he's the right one. Um, well, don't and I just don't want to get married to get married. I really want to find the, exactly. the right person that I'm connected with and vice versa. And um, well, I just really want to find my true love. Marcy, I, and, I'm a huge believer that you can't find Mr. Right if you're spending time with Mr. Wrong. So, you, you right, know, exactly. I, I really, I mean that sincerely. I really do. I'm, I'm dead serious about that. Um, because if you're giving yeah. your time and energy and your effort into a relationship that you already feel like this isn't your soulmate, then that time, energy, and effort could be used in being right. alone and being in alignment with what your heart wants and figuring out who you are, figuring out what you enjoy. Then that will pull in that partner for you. But while you're mixing with the energy of this other person, you're not fully going to be in alignment. Okay. Yeah. I just realized that. <laughs> I've only been dating him for like four months. Okay. So, but I just, re I just realized that he might not be the one. Right. So, hey, listen, if if um, you just said he might not be, he's not. <laughs> It, but every relationship, oh, treat, oh. It, treat it as a sacred relationship. You learn from every single one. But yes, you're actually doing a disservice by staying with him because you might be holding him back as well. Mm -hmm. Right? Right, right, exactly. Doesn't mean you can't you, enjoy you, his time. You, right, or have great but sex. He, the sex is just okay. It's not great, though. Okay, I didn't uh -uh. look into it. Oh, cool. Right. Good. Yeah, see, it's, it's just, it's average, right? Well, if it was great, then she would say, I'm, this yeah. is the one. Yeah, this, it's Maybe. not that great. And I got to tell you, I don't know if you started to see it yet, but he's got some, some weird habits, like household habits that are going to drive you bonkers. I mean, really weird well, stuff. Really? Well, there's some things that do, but I'm, I'm, I'm a Virgo, so... Like, I think that I, I accept, I ex expect way too much from people and I'm trying to back down from that. Um, because don't, Virgos no, are, no, 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 wait, no, wait, no. wait, listen, <laughs> let go, stop this Virgo stuff. You, you are, no, oh, okay. you already settled in one marriage. Why are you feel like you have to settle again? No. Great point. Colby. No, Great I'm point. no, that's the last thing I want to do. I am never going to settle. Say, but, um, stay I feel true like maybe to I'm who you too, are. um, I'm too picky and no. I don't want to be too picky. You, you know, I, I don't know because there's not. I'm not perfect, so I shouldn't be looking for that perfect person either. Okay, um, do you see how so, your mind yeah. is already sabotaging it? Yeah, like get out. So <laughs> get out of your head and into your heart. I'm blonde. I don't know. <laughs> well, take the gum out of your mouth. Uh, the, 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 no, the thing is, is you know, Marcy. I want you to work on giving yourself permission that your thoughts, actions, and mm -hmm. feelings are valid. Yes. I, I, I feel like yeah. you're, you know, either somebody else is telling you you're too picky or somebody else is telling you these things. I want you to just be who you are. Um, you can't spend 20 years married to someone if they've got a habit that you can't stand. Like, it's not going to work. Right. So be comfortable with the gotcha. person yeah like the right person isn't going to have that habit like it's not you, correct you know not saying that they won't have habits that are like Ugh, but it, they're, they're not going to have those certain things that are just like you're like okay i gotta i gotta <laughs> like compromise oh my god like it's not you don't want to do that again right. you you already did that right exactly okay. all right do you do you see that i'll be meeting somebody soon that no, because you're with this Might other be. guy. Well, I think because you're with this guy, I think, you know, you said, okay, so you said uh, I'm too picky. Well, the mm -hmm. opposite of being picky then is opening up, right? Being more flexible. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So you need to be right. more flexible with going out and dating. Flexible yes. in opening mm -hmm. up. Flexible in allowing your heart to open to pull in someone right. new. Because I do think that there's going to be someone new. But it really depends on when you let this relationship go. And I got June. Okay. Well, there you go. June. Mm -hmm. There you go. You got June. Mm -hmm. There you okay. go. All right, uh, hey, Marcy. I'm open. I am open. There you go. <laughs> you're so cute. All right, you got this. And don't worry. You're you're gonna you're you're gonna. You're there's fine. definitely gonna be that love for you. So I don't want you to worry and stress about it too much. I want you to just focus oh, no. on being you and and enjoying your time with someone. Okay. 
I will. All right. All right. Thank you. So you're much. welcome. You're welcome. Have a good night. I love you guys. Love you too, oh, Marcy. You too. Thank okay. you. Bye, honey. Bye, Marcy. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So cute. You know, sometimes people just need permission. I think I think that people need to stop explaining themselves. Oh, yeah. And, and this has nothing to do with Marcy. Marcy's so cute. I'm she just is talking adorable. About in general, how many times do you text someone, and because they can't do something, they give you the diatribe of what it is yep. that they're doing. You, they don't need to know. You just see, I can't do it. Mm. Like no, we we become a society of explainers. Yeah, and we, and apologizers. We don't need to apologize. Yeah, she's almost apologizing right. for who she's, she is. Some guy's gonna fucking love that. Sorry, I didn't. Yeah, say, I said flipping. I didn't okay. Say yeah, please. No. Yeah, yes. Thanks. Okay. I want to keep this G rating. I know. I, no, I no. think it's I, very important to me. I didn't say the whole. So, word. Um, all right. How about we take another caller? I would love. Uh, how about thirteen eight one two? I wonder where eight one two is. I don't know. know. All right, 812, you got through. This is Colby and Jennifer. Who is this? Vanessa. Hey, Hey, Vanessa. Vanessa, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. What can we do for you tonight? I was open to whatever you got. Well, you're going to have to be a little more direct. Do you want a psychic or a medium connection? Let's go psychic. Okay. All right. <laughs> that, that does a lot for us. There okay. we go. <laughs> All right. We're what dialing would, in. What would you like us to look into? Is well, it career path? I was going to talk about career. Yeah. So, Vanessa, do you want career or do you want relationship? Career. Okay. All right. Good. Do you want to go first? No, it's okay. Vanessa, listen, the, the career, it, you know, you're actually working on it. It feels like you've been working it out. And the career, um, it is more about stepping in. Like, I feel like you've gotten a lot more confident in the last year or two with what you're doing. And I, now it's like more kind of pushing you in the direction of saying yes to it. Does that make sense? You feel tired. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I feel like you're, you're walking that borderline of kind of the office box versus the spiritual path. And I kind of want to push you. Like, I just want to give you a big old (laughs) shove off the cliff and say, you got this. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. (laughs) (laughs) That is so funny. I do see a lot of energy around you. uh, So I don't know if you're even looking into the the Reiki work or or crystal work, but you you know when I... She's trying to infuse both, like intuitive work with her Mm. regular job, correct? Or how you can how you kind can of. do both. Well, right? I think yes. she, okay. I feel like you're leaving a regular job though. Like I think she's got a job that kind of pays right. the bills. I see her leaving that um, and going more on this particular path, but maybe integrating. So, do you have like a regular job? Yeah. So um, my husband owns a business, but I also work for him full time. Okay. But then I'm also a photographer. Ah. And I'm really trying to do more photography. Yes. And in my photography, I'm trying to change it so that people do something that's more soulful. Yep. Yes. And not like dragging your kids to a family photo shoot that nobody wants to do. But like taking <laughs> right. photos that's... of people like in their element. I and like love doing it. something that you love. I love it. Yeah, you that's tell amazing. your husband to get another bookkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else is going to do the payables. you got to yeah. do photography. Order supplies. <laughs> yeah. Now, the integration of photography, because you're really trying to capture things that people don't see. Mm-hmm. Just like we, you yep. know, we discuss things that people don't necessarily see, but they believe that it's there. And you see the endpoints with, with human beings and what the best potential they could be with their looks. Correct? That's yes. very intuitive. Yep, absolutely. That's yeah. very intuitive. And if you start putting intuitive in front of it, you'll you'll be you'll be surprised about how many people you'll give permission to even talk about it. Yeah. I think you're going to do something yeah. where you capture like the soul of the person. So not mm-hmm. not that photography that, you know, catches R's and colors. I I mean, I mean actual photography like you know, but I see you, you know, someone's like in nature or by a tree and you're capturing them making that connection. And so you're, you're like the, your photographs will allow the soul to speak. Yes, 
and I'm constantly trying to get people to the park where there's trees. And, there you and go. I'm always I just saying, saw let's the go tree. to the park. Like, let's wow, go to the there's park. A lot of nature. There's trees. There's yes. leaves. There's nature. Let's go be there. Yeah. I'm going to give you amazing. one other thing that's a, like, I'm going to, so I love this idea. I think it's amazing. Um, I really feel like you're meant to do it, which is why I they really do think they're like you they're just shoving you off that that cliff. Um but I do think you're going to do amazingly well. One one thing I do see and I'm not sure how you would work it out. I mean, this is just more through time. But I think you'll be able to do that really really well. I also think a lot of light workers, healers you know, they need better, quote unquote, headshots. So I know it's not driving the family to the mm. photo shoot, but I think I really see you having this way of capturing a light worker's soul and, and being able to do headshots for them as well. So I just want to offer that to you in addition, okay? okay. And Colby has a really yeah. good book yeah. that's out <laughs> that, could, that could help you set up your own business that she goes through. It's an, it's an excellent book for light Aww, workers. thanks, Jen. It is. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, buy the awesome. book, Van Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> I will. You will, will not be disappointed. Yeah, but I, I think she's ready. Yeah. You know? He's been ready. Tell she's your husband that he can do this. It. Yeah. It's going to actually make actually, that. Actually, he's usually the one that pushes me more. Yeah, this really, Good. it's going to really enhance that marriage as well. Isn't that funny? Because we started off, we said, hey, relationship or career. And it kind of yeah. is both, right? Yeah. Just, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. We, we got that. And, and I think, um, I really feel like this is only going to enhance that relationship, that marriage for sure. Mm -hmm. He likes watching you work. So, there you go. <laughs> Not necessarily in his office, but he likes the way that you shine when you're working. Yeah, it's with something that yeah. you love. That's a great hubby. So get out there. Yes. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll keep. I'll keep working on it. Thank you guys so right. much. You you're are welcome. welcome. Have a good night. Okay. You too. Thank All right. You. Uh, bye, bye, hun. Bye, bye. All right. That, yeah. See, it's good. I mean, I tell you, I remember those jitters. It's it's hard. It's nerve wracking. Right. Oh, yeah. You don't know if you're making the right choice. And <laughs> all of us spend so much time in our head. Um, you just got to start trusting those impulses that you're getting. Amber. No. <laughs> Amber's getting quite the impulse. I know. Amber, I we got to watch Amber. <laughs> I, I exhausted my guides. I'm pretty sure they had the same reaction. Like, would you just be quiet? Dad? Yeah. You know, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't need to just, just get out of the way. All right. So just how so about uh, four, number eight, four, zero, five. Okay, number eight, this is Colby and Jennifer. Who is this? Hi, this is Kimberly. Hi, Hi Kimberly. Kimberly, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing Jen, well. how you doing? Yeah, doing awesome. What question do you have for us tonight, honey? Um, I'm really open to anything, but I was hoping that I could go more on the medium side and see if anybody had any messages for me. Okay, perfect. All right, good. Um, is your father over on the other side? <laughs> I felt a man, too. Yeah. Hello? Oh, no. Did we lose you? No, no I'm still here. Oh, you cut out. <laughs> oh, We you, both feel a male figure. Yeah, do you have a father, like a guy who's like a father to you on the other side? Um, sort of. Sure well, he's either on the other side or he's not. <laughs> he's, I'm teasing. Is he like a father? Do you understand that father figure? Yes. Okay, thank you. And he's crossed over, yes? Yes. Okay. Is it your mom's dad, your grandfather? Yes. Okay, okay. there we go. Okay. All right. Do you also, I, I get the feeling around him. Um, now, there's also a connection to your mom. So can I ask... Um, it's his mom's, yeah, grandfather. Uh, her mom's grand, her, her, it's her mom's dad. Yeah, I wonder, I feel like there's a woman on the other side for you as well. So that's, that's where oh, I'm okay. going. So, so can I ask if mom is on the other side for you as well, honey? She's not. Okay, do you understand the woman that is, because we've got this, you can connect to the dad. I've got the woman too. There's a mother on the other side or a mother, a mother figure for you on the other side as well. The father's mom. Um, possibly my grandmother. On your father's side? Um, no, I didn't this... really know. I never met her, so I'm not. 
That's okay. I'm not sure. This makes me feel like it's the wife of this grandfather, though, which okay. would be, and it's I got the, on her mother, so I I know this is on the mother's side too. Do you want to go with the grandfather, go and ahead. then I can, can go, go with ahead. the mother? Go ahead. Okay, I think this mother. Did, I want to just share with you. I know you didn't really meet her or know her, but I do feel like there's a lot of similarities between the two of you. So your mom may have shared that with you or expressed it to you. But I do see that this lady spends a lot of time around you, kind of like a carriage. So um, were you in the physical world even as a child when she was born, even though you don't remember her or didn't feel like you met her? No, she she died whenever um, my dad was really young. Oh wow. Okay, cuz it makes me it makes me feel like she's been around you since you since, since you're in you've been here since you've been in the physical. She makes me feel like she's around you. And she keeps giving me the blue bonnet. So that's really We're funny. Talking, and just to clarify because I brought up the father's mother. This is your this is your mom's mom that Colby's bringing in. The, no, it would be if it it would be my mom's grandmother. Okay. Do, okay. Okay. My mom's mom is still alive. Okay. Okay. Do you do you do you remember your mom's grandmother? Yes, very okay. well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Because I, I know that this lady knows you, and I know that she's a strong force in your life. So she would have had a strong energy in the physical world. Do you remember that? Like a, a big essence about her? Yes. Yes. And I feel like there's a sense with her of j just really obviously holding the family together, but a lot like she's super crafty, this lady. Do you remember that about her? Or have you heard? Yeah, she was. Like, just all, like, <laughs> I, I got to tell you, from, I mean, I'm not going to be too cliche, but from knitting to canning goods, like this lady knew what to do to, to make ends meet and to make little gifts for people. Do you remember that, honey? Yes. Okay. Uh, and then do you, does the blue bonnet make sense? Did she ever make you a hat or do you understand a blue bonnet? Um, she had, she had let me borrow something like that when I was in elementary school for like That's a land so run cute. play. Okay. There yeah. you go. There you go. I, I want to share with you that she's around. Um, mm. And I, I'm going to let Jen talk to your grandfather because I feel like he's got a message as well. Um, mm. But let me just give you the message from this grandmother. I, I feel like... I want to share with you, it, it feels like you've been feeling kind of down and out, like dragging your feet. And I just feel like she's picking you up. She's kind of saying you're okay. She's trying, she's letting me know that you are so much stronger than you think. Um, and just call on me because I'm there with you. I'm, I'm there. I want to say like when you pray, like she's there with you. Okay. Okay. And, okay. And do you have a piece of jewelry of hers? Because I saw a necklace or it could have been interpretation of a rosary do you have a piece of jewelry from her um no i don't think so okay so i'm being shown something like dealing with a necklace um that was handed down to you does that make sense at all no ask your mom i bet your mom has it i yeah, bet your, you you know your mom has it um yeah, so, and we're running out of time. We only have a few minutes left. I want to ask you really quick, was there someone you're hoping to step forward or is did we kind of get the people that you were thinking were there? There was someone I was hoping you would have come forward. Okay, then that's what, say that. well, that's, you it's know, okay. because we don't, it's not, you know, we open up this who's stepping forward first, but I can feel that there's someone else. Do you want right. to just share who that is with us? It's my husband. Thank you, okay. guys. That's thank you. I got to tell you, he felt a little younger to me, so I wasn't getting. I felt more boyfriend, okay. but okay, he must have been passionate. The jewelry too. <laughs> that right. was the jewelry. That I, was I the felt jewelry. like I just want to share. It. Listen, I, I want to make. What was your name again, honey? I'm sorry. It's Kimberly. Kimberly, it's Kimberly. I got to so, because I kept feeling like this other man. Yeah. We we could you know, and I knew. Um, Yes, and I do feel like there's a heart, and Valentine's Day is something around the, the 14th. So do you have a heart pendant from him? I'm just curious if it's a heart or, or some, a marking of a heart from him. Um, I found a card the other day that I gave to him a long time ago, and it's in the shape of a heart. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. I, wanna... I don't have, like, a pendant or anything. Okay, I know. I, I feel like, but you must have a necklace from him or something. Is that right? It's just because. So, Jen... so I'll give you the visual. You were holding on to something that was by your heart. Yeah. 
I have a necklace that I wear my wedding ring around. There okay. you go. There's there you the go. See, I'm like somebody from the other side gave you. Yeah, a necklace. I I was feeling and, and you were holding it, and sometimes it's just it's interpretation, but. Yeah, and I got to tell you, too, it doesn't feel like there's a whole long time since he's passed. Like, this doesn't right. feel... So I feel like... I feel like just because we're on air and stuff, he almost wanted permission to step forward. So has it not yeah. been too long since he passed, honey? No, it's just been a couple of months. Okay, right. so that's what I... I'm so, sorry. yeah, but I'm I also... So now, I'm just kind of curious. Do, can you connect to the J name, a Jack or John or something like that? It doesn't have to be his name, but just connect it to him or... or around in spirit or in the living um no all right i'm pretty sure that answer is going to be yes so what i want you to do is when this call ends i just want you to just give it a thought because i know it it feels anxious because you kind of wanted to hear certain things and a dog um, as well <laughs> So what I want you to do is just give it thought, and then if you can connect to the J, Jack, John, something like that in the spirit or in the living, I want you to just put it in the, the comments. Can you do that for us? Yes. Okay. Um, I Also, I, I just feel like this is important. We'll, we'll close mm -hmm. with her dad, I mean her husband, because I feel like this is so important. He's trying to get a lot yeah. in. I, I feel like there's a suddenness around this passing. I feel like he didn't get to say everything. I feel like he's like this big, and he was just such mm -hmm. a big ball of energy. Like he just feels like a big, such a warm person. Does that, you know what I'm saying? And I just, I, I, I can't, I, I feel, Kimberly, I can't tell you how much he loves you. I'm, right. I'm, I'm not gonna do that justice, but oh my goodness, honey, you have to know how much he loves you, how much he's putting his arms around you. <laughs> he's, you he, must have been a lot smaller than him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he he's just got these big old arms. And is and there, just picks you is up. there a birthday or anniversary that's coming up in March? Um, no. No. His birthday's coming up. His When's birthday's it? not in March. It's April. I, okay, okay, we're close. Sorry. She she said coming up. We're we're gonna take he that. He wants you to say, he wants he knows how difficult this is for you because I feel like you I see you looking at papers and there's yeah. a lot of there's a lot that you have to deal with. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. He wants you to know yeah. that he's he wants you to know that everything's gonna be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And I know uh, you, you you're working out the house and you're you're working right. out the the uh, you you know you're working out all the like she said the paperwork and the wishes and all of that stuff. Um, but you know he also wants you to laugh because I feel like uh, he, he is does. really like. I think he loved to make you laugh, and I think he would do little <laughs> goofy things to you. So as you're coming along these keepsakes and looking at things, I want you to just see how much he loves you, how much he is with you, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Kimberly, you are so welcome. welcome. Just know that your grandparents are around him. They, they, you know, your family and his family is around protecting him, okay, honey? Okay, thank you. you you're you're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. Have a good night, hon. You too. Bye. Bye, honey. Bye, bye. So, so part of the whole father thing. So, my, of course, the person that I love more than anything is a father, and that's the, the love was so intense. Yeah. I just went to father. Yeah, I'm not yeah. using. There's no excuses for that. I'm not saying that, but it is something that is so powerful when someone you love that much. And yes, it felt like it was sudden. Yeah, I felt like there's a lot of unanswered questions, and when you're left with that, that hurts. But I could feel like we were talking, and yeah. you could feel him. You could feel him kind of wanting to come in, but it's almost, I think, because it hadn't been that long. It was They're almost like, learning. yeah, he's learning. like, is it okay? Yeah. Like, am I, like, I don't want to be rude. And I'm like, right. no, no, well, let's do this, let's buddy. Do let's do it. So yeah. anyhow, Kimberly, um, lots of love to you. I know it, it's hard to, but just know his love for you. His Does he not love this woman? More than anything. Okay. Than life. So we are at the time we're, we're done. Um, I do want to give a couple things. JenniferShafer.com. Yes. J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R-S-H-A-F-F-E-R. -E -F -F -E Please com. visit. Say hi. Uh, if you're in uh, the Long, Long Beach, Manhattan Beach area, <laughs> go to Uncorked. What is the date again? Um, March 19th. You there can you make go. a reservation. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. There you go. Hang out. So... Thank you guys. Uh, I appreciate you know you're all being patient and you're yes. all being online. And I'm sorry that we didn't get to all of you. Um, 
But, I, you know, if you can share, leave a review on iTunes, all that fun stuff just helps get this out there. I, I will be so grateful. Mwah. We both will. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Let's do this. Now, now, now let's go have some vino after we talk yes. to voices. Yes. All right. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye I'll see everybody. you next week. A star, but only strictly where I'm famous. I'm in this foot along this hall, like we'll see where it takes us. I'm throwing back these double shots, like whiskey here is weightless. Cause, cause this career I chose was even riskier than Vegas, yo.